Also from baseball, East Carolina's bats came to life in that 13-9 win over North Carolina State Tuesday night. And those bats were just getting warmed up, weren't they? East Carolina swept yesterday's doubleheader over American rival UCF. In the two wins over the nights, the Pirates scored 28 runs on 30 hits. And now East Carolina goes for the sweep coming up this afternoon at noon. The Pirates poured it on early in both games yesterday. Game one, Lane Hoover got things started in the second. He bounces this one down the right field line. In comes Carter Cunningham and Alec Makarevich. And then Luke Nowak will scamper home on a nice throwing error. And East Carolina is out in front three zip. The very next batter, Jacob Jenkins Cowart. There's three homers the other night. Well, he smashes this pitch into the gap. Hoover runs home to make it 4 nothing. Jenkins Cowart slides in safely with an RBI triple. The Pirates weren't done. They added another three runs in the third after he pulls back the bunt. Cunningham sends a single right back up the middle. East Carolina's offense clicking. They led seven zip through three. Trey Savage ran his record to a perfect 5-0. and Didn't give up a hit until the six when it gave up back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs. Still, the Pirates rolled in game one. They won 17-7 in seven innings with that mercy rule with the 10 run rule in game two more of the same for Cliff Godwin's squad second inning Joey Barini gets under a pitch and that carries into the trees for a two run shot East Carolina with an early lead in this one the lead would grow in that same inning a few batters later Josh Moreland connects the ball is just out of the reach of the center fielder two run double four nothing East Carolina the Pirates would chase UCF starter out of the game in the second and still East Carolina wasn't done. Luke Nowak goes the other way for a double of his own that also plates a pair that brought up the player of the day Alec Makarevich one of his seven hits on the day two of his six RBIs would be a nine run inning for the Pirates that was more than enough Run support for Carter Spivey. He struck out six in six innings of work, allowed just two runs in game two. Pirates win it 11-5, a dominant day for East Carolina as they get the doubleheader sweep and clinch the series win. Sometimes you just see the ball a little bit better. Um, it was one of those days for me, and I just was riding it while I was hot, just not trying to do too much. You Savage and Spivey really good early and gave us a chance offensively to get our feet underneath us, and thought our offense was outstanding. Um, they've got a really good offense, as you guys can see. They've hit a lot of home runs and um, no lead safe, but I thought our pitching did enough. I mean, Danny Beal was really good at the end. Um, but offensively, I just thought we were just really, really tough up and down the lineup. Coming up on this Friday, it's East Carolina and UCF in game three of that series, weather permitting, and Pirate football gets set for the annual spring game, which is set for 11 a.m. on Saturday. I'm Brian.